everyone. This is Brad Cummings from Board Game Geek. Today we're going to talk about Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. This is a collectible card game from Blizzard, the makers of games like Starcraft and Diablo and World of Warcraft. Uh, this game is a collectible CCG for iPad, PC, and Mac. Uh, just to start off, I have to say that I really love this game, and so my opinion, of course, is biased. I've been playing it for months and really enjoy it. And secondly, this is a CCG with everything you'd expect from a CCG. There are blind purchases, there are decks to build, there are uh, players that will spend more money than you and have stronger cards. But again, as always, strategy will generally pay out. Your decks in Hearthstone are represented by different characters from the World of Warcraft universe. Um, each of these characters or classes has their own specific unique cards which they can use, as well as they can use a shared pool of uh, creature cards that all players have access to. Uh, this means that uh, the way you'll play each deck and the decks you're going up against are going to be based upon some basic strategies that that class has. This helps you to really strategize what's going on and make your plays, such as deciding which cards to keep and which ones to push forward for in your hand. I see this as a positive design in the game as it allows you to have a lot of options but also be limited. That Those limiting factors I think help new players to not feel overwhelmed that they have every choice in the book. Otherwise, you have your specific class, and you learn that class, and kind of what your strengths, abilities, and weaknesses are. Again, you can play multiple classes, but within that class, you'll have control and maybe more understanding of what your possibilities are. In the basics of gameplay, you will have a hand of cards. These cards cost certain mana costs. As you can see, you'll draw a new card each turn, and you have a series of mana crystals which will grow each turn. This means, unlike magic or something like that, all players will be on the same level about what they can put out each turn. It also influences deck building a little bit. Uh, the other thing is each uh, hero or class has a special ability. This special ability always costs two mana and has uh, different effects depending on what class you are. And it's not just something that's there at, on the periphery, it definitely will be part of your strategy for that class. The goal of the game is to get the other player's health down to zero from a starting point of 30. Unlike Magic or similar games, uh, the player does not get to choose who blocks the defending player. The attacker chooses who they attack. So it's up to the attacker to decide, do I want to control the board by attacking a minion that's on the board, or do I want to go straight for the enemy hero? It definitely is a choice that comes up often and is kind of a new twist on the classic formula. To play Hearthstone, you're always going to need to be online. So this definitely you know, is not going to work so much on the go if you do not have online capability. Um, but apart from that, you also um, can play against AI opponents, and there's some basic ones that you can level up your basic heroes against, or you can play uh, against some expert AI opponents, which can be quite challenging and have uh, more complete decks. You also have the ability to play online. Uh, the online play is very competitive. There are ranked matches, there are free play matches. It definitely has that really great Blizzard online experience. That's really something I can't stress highly enough about this app, is the addition of having Battle.net on your iPad. <laughs> I, in my opinion, Battle.net is one of the greatest online play systems ever created, and now you have that option to t chat with your friends who are playing Diablo, StarCraft, and other games while you're playing this game on your iPad. I really think that's a huge positive, and a great step forward in online experiences on iOS. With Hearthstone, you can use uh, gold that you earn from playing to buy cards, or you can use real world money to buy cards as well. Uh, again, I know a lot of players have enjoyed the game without spending any money. I personally have put some cash into the game, but again, it's just how you want to play the experience. Uh, just like any CCG that we grew up with, it's really up to you. When you open packs, uh, you can uh, open five cards at a time and it will show you what their rarity is. Uh, I like to kind of open the least rare first like I would in a magic pack and then look at the rare ones later on. Uh, it's a fun system and I think they've really done well giving you that sort of Ooh, what's this gonna be type feeling. Deck construction in the game is fairly freeform. Uh, you generally will pick uh, one hero and you will be limited to the class cards of that hero. You also have the choice from all of the uh, cards that all players have access to. This allows you to build some very unique decks and uh, there definitely are guides online and uh, even guides from the game that will auto-complete your decks for you. It can even recommend a next card, kind of where your deck is lacking. You can view your mana curve, you can sort by the mana cost, you can sort by rarity, you can sort by uh, different sets, you can even craft cards. Um, the way this works is if you have excess cards, cards you're not using, you can actually turn them into dust and then buy additional cards uh, from 
the game store to fill in gaps that you have, perhaps in your collection or for certain strategies. Besides the basic play mode, uh, there is the arena mode, which a lot of people enjoy. In this mode, you select a hero and you draft a deck. Uh, this drafting process is shown to you three cards at a time and you pick one. Uh, once you've drafted your deck, you then play against other arena players and you earn prizes based on uh, how long you last in the arena and how many wins you achieve. It really is an interesting play mode and it's one I definitely re recommend checking out. I know a lot of players just focus on this play mode and you definitely will want to check it out. You get one free arena entry uh, upon entering the game and so you can definitely see if this is something for you. In summary, I really enjoy Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. I think that it does a great job at capturing what makes CCGs fun. That's really the main thing. Sure, I'm a Blizzard fan. I've never really played WoW that much. I'm not a huge uh, WoW player, but what I understand is the quality that comes from other games, and I really feel that here. Things seem balanced and polished, and it seems like there's definitely a lot of attention to bringing new content and other things to the game. Yes, it is a free-to-play game, uh, but Again, a lot like Magic the Gathering or things like that. It's a model that we understand, right? It's a model I grew up with. You buy booster packs, you expand your collection as you see fit. The game is not forcing you to expand your collection, but is allowing you to do so as uh, according to your rules and according to your desires. That being said, it's not a game for everyone. If you're not a fan of collectible card games, if you don't like blind buying, this definitely is not for you. However, regardless of how you feel about collectible card games, I have to say that Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft is one of the best designed iPad games I've ever played. It features a great online system with chat that is streamless and is not tied to games. You can chat back and forth. It features a UI which really makes sense. You drag things when it makes sense. You drop things when it makes sense. Uh, all the information is clearly shown on the iPad screen. And I really feel like they've done the kind of design you would expect from Blizzard a AAA studio. If you like the best in tabletop experiences on iOS, this is definitely one that's worth checking out. It has some great ideas and is great at showing you flow of information and definitely helping you grasp what's going on in the game quickly and easily. I can't recommend it highly enough for fans of digital board games and card games. This is one that you can't miss.